Hello everyone, it is Lucy here and I am back with another video. In today's video, I am doing another part of Fay Farm. So in the last part, we were trying to make our way through the floating ruins. I kind of played a little bit on my own and I was able to get the seals that we need. I also couldn't remember all of the items that the guy at the end needed. So it kind of did a little spoiler and looked those up so that it wasn't gonna take me forever forever to try to find those materials. Um, so we, uh, I have all of the materials in my bag. So we're going to go to the floating ruins today and just, um, meet the guy. And then hopefully we won't have to go back. We can just kind of, um, you know, do what we need to do with him and take care of it. So, um, that's what we're doing today. Also, I don't know if the chickadee is in here, but he has fully grown into a chicken. Oh, there he is, or she, um, and it's Hendrick, and they are uh, yellow, so they're a yellow chick, and I really like, um, I really like it. So <laughs> I'm really glad that we went with that. Uh, also, I kind of did a little bit of digging to see what kind of uh, colored animals that we can get, and I really want to get a amethyst rabbit next it's going to be a purple rabbit so that's what i'm hoping for right now i just want to get through the ruins and then see how many um amethysts that i have and then i can kind of go and purchase that charm uh from the i think it has to be the people in the fey realm that will uh, give me those charms so i just want to check on my animals here just to make sure that they're doing okay uh, everyone's doing okay okay i did visit them this morning so uh, they should be fine and then let's go over and head on over to the floating ruins and i will see you guys when i get there all right you guys so here we are at the floating ruins and i'm going to just go ahead and kill these uh things uh while i'm in here try to grab as many like stones as i can uh, just because I feel like they're going to be really useful, you know, later. So I'm going to do the best that I can. I'm going to also grab some silver ore because I do have to make some money. So I think what I'm going to work on today after we get through this, uh, floating ruins is I'm going to go over to the saltwater mines and I'm going to grab as many gems as I can and get those polished up so that I can sell those, uh, just because they are going to be really a lot more money than normal. So uh, I think that will be helpful as well. Uh, I know that the gems from here probably will sell a little bit more, but I found that they are harder to find, unfortunately, uh, just because you have so many you know avenues that you can go through in here. And so it's a little bit harder to find those gems. Uh, so that's why I'm going to kind of, you know, go through and do what I need to do to get, uh, you know, gems from the saltwater mines. Oh, there is like a gem here. Okay, cool. So I'll grab that. And uh, yeah, they're just a little bit harder to, to find. So uh, just have to kind of maybe go through the saltwater mines just because it's an easier level to go through. Uh, but I'm very excited and I hope that I can get to that lava uh, realm, you know, in this part. So I'm gonna make my way through here and then try to get to the end guy and I will be back with you guys. All right, you guys, so we are at level 25. So we are at the end of the ruins, which is part of our story quest. So that's awesome. And then here is the um, guy at the end. So I have to go up and talk to him. This ruined place is my own space. Ah, who goes there? You dare address me? I'm Bolatal. I'm just gonna say it like that because I'm not sure if that's how you say it. Master of these islands and Sprite Supreme. I didn't invite you and now I'll ask you to be gone. The miasma, it's nothing more than a colorful cloud, something to add a little class to this place. It's dangerous, you say? Hmm, this could explain why no one has come to visit. Well, if I get rid of it, something will have to replace it. I know, a home-cooked meal. The smell will make up for the lack of decoration. Fetch me these ingredients post-haste. Okay, so I have to deliver the fey dust. I have to, oh shoot, okay, I need three of those. Deliver clover feed to his fountain. Deliver spore essence. Deliver uh, a violet jelly cap and the polished emeralds. I have everything but the fey, like all of the fey dust. 
So I'll hold and accept this, and then I'm gonna go and just drop in what I have. So I have one Fadest, I have the 10 Violet Jelly Caps, I have all of those, I have those and these. And then I just have to go back and get another Fadest, I, or another two Fadests. Um, I didn't realize that I had to uh, give him three because online it just said two a uh, one I think so I didn't realize that so I'm gonna go back to my home get my two uh feed us that I need and then I will be back with you guys all right you guys so all of the ingredients has been added and so we're gonna go talk to the sprite again this smelly gas has made is made to last ah who goes there oh it's you you brought the ingredients? Wonderful. Leave them here and I'll start cooking up a feast. Run along and let Botel work their magic, kitchen magic. Come back tomorrow and we'll break bread. Then I'll see about this miasma situation. Tomorrow we shall feast. Then we'll be able to chase the miasma away. All right, so I'll head back. Um, and it's late anyway, so I'll just kind of do some things around my home and then uh, I will go to sleep so that we can be back with him uh, in the next day. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave. I thought that's what I was doing. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave, go back to the homestead and just kind of see if there's anything I can kind of clean up or do. And then I will be back with you guys. Bulletel was excited when I showed up the next day. They had been cooking all night and asked me to have a meal and stay. They had no idea the colorful smoke was hurting people. They told me to stand back as they began to draw their magic out. When nothing happened, Bulletel began to curse and shout. I told them about how my magical staff had helped Nepi. This seemed to do the trick, as I felt the magic flow through me. I held my magical staff up and felt the magic ignite. The fairy fire lit the torches and sealed the miasma in the ruins and out of sight. With the gate opened and the miasma cleared, the elves came back to Azoria after all of these years. Bulatel sent me to the to Marquise. He might have something to say to me. You have access to the fe fairy fire spell. Open the spell wheel with ZL to select it. All right, so I'm going to head back uh, to the Fey Realm, and I'll talk to the elf. Uh, first, I'm probably going to go just check on my pets just to make sure that I do that today because uh, I like to do that every day. I don't think you have to do it every day, but I really enjoy it. So <laughs> I like to check on them, uh, make sure that they're doing okay, and then I will be back with you guys. All right, you guys, so I am at Marquis, so let's talk to them. Oh, I didn't see you. You are a curious person, Lucy Games. I mean that in both senses of the word. And just who approaches Mathalian Marquis de Isle, come closer that I might observe you better. Ah, you must be the Lucy Games that Zido informed me of. I'm a difficult elf to impress, but I must say you've got my attention. Is it true that we have you to thank for opening the Fey Gate and the dissipation of the foul miasma? Then you have done us a great service. I would be honored if you would accept this a piece of our land. It would be rude to decline, Lucy Games, and I, I'll hear no more on that matter. You need only activate the torches with your new spell and the bridge will appear. The farm to the east of, ta of town is yours. We would be honored if you would fill it with crops and animals. Instructions will follow by mail. It's been a pleasure, Lucy Games. I received a new house. Oops, I didn't mean to talk to him again. <laughs> oh, cool. So we have Lunin. We have a stack of pillows. Uh, I do like the little Lunins. They are so cute. Uh, so I will probably get some of those. Uh, but I remember it's over here. And then um, I need to... Let's see here. And then I'm going to do my spell. Okay, cool. Nice. So now I have a bridge. And this is now my new area. This is my favorite area. Uh, I just, I love it so much. <laughs> uh, 
Um, this is probably my favorite area and I, I don't know if you're able to, uh, you know, make this like my home, my permanent, you know, my homestead. Uh, but I would love to do that. I think I could, can maybe, but I'll have to look into that. All right. Let me go around and collect all of these items. Um, cause now I can kind of get over to this spot. So... Nice. So I have a log fence. There's also something here. Bay Rock Path. Um, I know that they said that they added a lot more like items that you can kind of gather, like these little scrolls. Uh, I know that that's what it said in one of like the updates. So nice. So I'm going to gather all of those and then what is the thing to use? A rose quartz seal. Okay, so I'll have to make one of those so that I can easily fast travel to this place. Um, and I'll look that up when I get home. Uh, but a sand knit rug, which is awesome. And I think, I think maybe that's it. Uh, but I can like make this something up here. This is part of my home, uh, so I'll have to do that as well. And then there's my house. And I think that's it. And Or no, this is my house, sorry, over here. But that was that's where I can get like the animals and things like that. So this is where the animals live. My new Lunin, and then there's another animal, which I can't remember. Uh, but that's exciting. So, um, what I'm going to do is I am going to, uh, see what I have to do to get to the, to the other place. I think that there is like some sort of spell that I need, uh, but I'm so excited to be here. Actually, let's go look at the Lunins. Uh, I think that they are down. Uh, let's see. What's this? Welcome dear stranger to my crop shop. Only top notch crops at my shop want to know how long it took me to come up with my shop name worth the effort though i really think i nailed it okay so they have like blue hyacinth seeds green zinnias um and then a bunch of fertilizers okay i will like do your quest later i just want to kind of explore a little bit and then what are they again this is uh furniture carpentry services oh okay so i can upgrade my home that way salutations human visitor shiny saplings i am your humble tree vendor oh okay so i can get like trees from him okay i don't need anything right now where are the i remember where the animals are but i don't remember if that makes any sense <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure they're around here somewhere, though. Maybe in here. Yeah, there's more vendors in here. Okay, so here's a Lunin. Flamingo Shag Rug. Okay. Greetings, I am the humble owner of Beneficial Animal Breeding. I am an expert with all the manner of the fey animals. Everything smells like earth and trees. Um, animal breeding services. Okay, I can provide breeding services. Animal breeding. Oh, okay. So they're the... Okay. So I have to get... Okay, let's see. Buy and sell. A Lunin and a Spriggan. I want to buy an animal. I'm going to get a Lunin first. A little stinky. Okay, sure. And then um, I'll put them away, and then I will get, uh, I'll come back and I'll get a um, sprig in as well. Uh, so I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna register him, and then I'm gonna get a sprig in as well. And then I'll be back with you guys. Um, I also have to kind of figure out what I'm supposed to do. Oh, shoot, I'm like talking and not paying attention to where I'm going. Um, I also have to, you know, figure out what I'm supposed to do uh, for the um how to open up the volcano area it's like a it's an area where it's like all uh you know winter 
And so I have to kind of figure that out. And then there's like a volcano over there as well. Uh, so I'll have to figure that out. I think I talk, I'm pretty sure I talked to somebody. I just can't remember who I talked to in order to get the potion so that I can, you know, go through that area. No problem. So I will be back with you guys. All right, you guys. So it is the next morning and we ended up unlocking a new chapter and it's called Blizzard Blues. So I think I need to talk to somebody in order um, for me to be able to open up the blizzard area. So it says, Lucy Games, the Marquis has asked me to give you some tips on on your new farm in the Fey Realm. Things work a little differently here, so let me break it down for you. Using magic crop swap fertilizers on this farm makes your crops into Fey crops. There's a Fey pen that you can uh, house lunins for silk and spriggans for their leaves. You can grow Fey crops anywhere in on face soil beds if you're looking to buy some animal friends come and see me in my cave and i already did that so i did that yesterday hello come on come one come all uh to the seed and soil festival it will be a grand old time though maybe i could still use some help come and see me and i'll tell you about growing my plants holly the seed vendor and then we have come in for a visit frida Dear Lucy Games, you've already done so much for us in Azoria, but I wonder if you have time for a tiny matter. Could you come visit me at the Tavern Hun? See you, Frida. Okay, so I can go do that. Uh, and, uh, oh, we have like a lot of money. Um, I'm assuming because we unlocked a new chapter. Um, let's go check on Frida and see what she needs. So I will be back with you guys when I get to her. Okay, it took me a minute, but I found Frida, so let's talk to her. Well, hi there. There's so many new Fey items appearing in the market. Jorn has come home with the oddest little things. Hi there, sweetie. Good to see you. It's always good to see you, Lucy Games. Come sit a spell. Thanks for coming in, hon. I've been really busy with all of the new land opening around Azoria. Plenty of new guests have been finding their way to my inn. So many, in fact, that I don't have enough supplies to serve them. I've been snapping up as much as I can offer off the market tables each night, but it's not enough. So I have just a tiny request for you. I'd like to sell some of my delicious frosty tea, but I can't get the frost thistle for it anymore. You'll, you'll find some? Wonderful. Unfortunately, it's up north where the blizzard rages on, but you've already handled worse. Thanks, Lucy Games. Go where it's cold to find the frost. Oh, okay. It's you. Glad to see you. All right, I'm going to figure this out. I think I have to, like, get some sort of potion or something so I can go up in there, if I remember right. I don't know. It's been a while since I've done that realm, or that area, I mean. So I'm going to go check it out, see what I can do. Hopefully I can get her some frost thistle, um, but we'll see. Okay, so there is a quest. So let's go and talk. Well met. Welcome to our little island paradise. Well, a paradise with whirlpools, thorns, and wild magic. Honored to see you again, Lucy Games. Are you attracted to danger? Is that why I find you in the only most dangerous places? <laughs> Frost thistle. I know that plant, but there is no chance that you'd be able to brave the storm long enough to get it. Perhaps this is a task that is best left unfinished. How important could the frost thistle be? No, it's best if you turned back. You were really just going to do it anyway, aren't you? Wist mother bless you. <laughs> okay, if you're so determined, then it's time to think of solutions. Why, yes, of course. I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner. There's surely a potion to keep you warm. I believe Orlich, the ice cellar, has, has set up back at his old spot. He should know how to brew something to keep your bones warm. All right, I will find Orlich. All right, you guys, so I have found the elf that I need, but I think I'm gonna wait to talk to them until the next part, uh, just because uh, we did a lot in this part. We went through the floating ruins and all of that. So I wait till the next part, we can kind of talk to them, get the potion, go up, get the frost thistle, and then I bet we'll have to try to make some of the potion so that we can keep braving the storm. Uh, I think that's how it goes. But anyways, you guys, I think I'm gonna end it here. Like I said, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today, and I will talk to you all very soon.